CC, ROG, match made in heaven at a pole tree. Hello, hello my beautiful helicopters. Welcome back to another installment of the greatest graphic design tournament to have ever run in the history. Of so there was eight designers left. Let's review who won the last round. First up, we had Esther Belog taking on Brian Wan and Brian one. Then we had Andreas Magnavicius taking on Renata Porto and Renata won. After that we saw Trevor Navarre taking on Timothy Pascalis and Trevor was the winner with his cloud. And the last matchup, possibly the most epic, we had Lucas Vilek taking on Kuba Piotrowski and Lucas won. That brings us, my friends, to our updated bracket. I hope you like the new and improved fanciness. I've added f images to it. So cute. We have Brian Juan, Renato Porto, Lucas Vilek, and Trevor Navarre. Those are the four horsemans of the graphic design apocalypse. Today we'll be seeing the ultimate work of Brian Photo Booth Juan taking on the delectable design talent of Renata Ingrata Porto. So you fresh design champions on the Instagram made a lot of entries for this round and I'll be showing a fair number of those at the end of this video and then I'll be showing even more at the end of tomorrow's video. So stick around till after the matchup if you want to see all the stuff that you design champos made for this round as well. Beep boop bop, the year is 1999. You are at a university which makes you like middle-aged by now. Nothing wrong with that, it's a lovely stage of life. You are part of the computer club and you wanna get more members. So the computer club is throwing an all night LAN party. Here is what a LAN party is. Ooh, look at these gorgeous individuals. So our chicken's mission was to make a poster that could be hung up all over the university to entice people to come join the all night LAN party. As it being 1999, I told our designers to have some sort of 90s or 2000s feeling to it, but I also told them extra points if you can make it feel 90s, 2000, but also make it feel contemporary. Our matchup today is between Brian Photo Booth Juan and Renata Ingrata Porto. Let's start out with Renata Ingrata. And this round, I asked them to send a little message to you guys and to their opponents. So let's see what they have to say. Let's hear from Renata first. Oi, gente, aqui é Renata Ingrata. E eu vim agradecer todo mundo que tem torcido por mim, mandado mensagens positivas. Você sou incrível demais. E Brian, eu vim te acompanhando na competição. Eu tenho certeza que você fez um post incrível. Vai ser bem difícil essa rodada. Mas vamos que vamos. Boa sorte para nós dois. E um beijo para todo mundo. Oh, so sweet, so sweet. Renata knows what's up, smooch like. And if you haven't already, you should definitely give Renata and Brian a follow on the Instagram. You'll be able to see their handle when we watch their work. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's hop inside Renata's design computer brain and see what she made. Okay, it looks like Renata made a pretty awesome sketch before this. And it looks like she's in um, Photoshop now, going over with some lines. This is pretty sick. It looks like some Skeletor fingers. Not Skeletor, Skeletol. <laughs> um, I told all the designers that they could come up with like a name for the land party, which would include kind of a theme for it. So we'll have to see what all the designers go for. It looks like Renata's going for some sort of like skeletal theme. I like that, which kind of fits because if anybody knows, when you, you know, when it gets like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you kind of feel like, uh, you know, a little bit that way. So I think it's pretty appropriate. I also asked the designers um, a question and then they wrote me an answer very politely. I asked them how they got um, started or interested in design. And Renata said that when she was younger, uh, she had a sister who was deciding what to study in college, and one of her options was design. And Renata was about 13, and she had no idea what design meant. Um, she said she always liked to use her creativity to innovate and solve problems, so when her sister explained what design is, uh, she fell in love with that. 
And the fact that she could do that as a profession was amazing. She ended up choosing design as a career and I was so inspired watching her study and working that I just knew that was also what, um, what she wanted to do. It was written in the first person, but then I was trying to change it to third person as I was reading it, so... But you, you get the gist. She has a sister who became a designer, and that really inspired her, which I think is phenomenal. But you know what this calls for? A sister designer design-off. I think definitely if they'd be interested in making that happen, <laughs> or if you guys be interested in seeing that. <laughs> It's kind of funny. There might be too much, uh, <laughs> too much at stake, though. You know, which which one is the better designer? Ooh. I, okay, so she's working on a keyboard now. This is so interesting. What was she using to fill that in? She wasn't using the brush tool back there. She was using. She was making a selection and then filling it, which is really nice. Whoa, this darker blue shading. That's incredible. I've been so blown away by everybody's illustration skills. Yo, you see how, see how quickly she made that perfect zhong 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 shadow on the on the uh, the monitor here. This is looking so cool so far. I've also been impressed with everybody's ability to like use different programs. Most everybody draws something either on paper or on iPad, and then they can use both Illustrator and Photoshop. That's so cool. Okay, this says Dead Gamers Society. I like that. It sounds like a pun on um, Dead Poet Society, which might be, that's pretty sick. Oh, this is, this is very important. She's putting the day and the time. I guess the time is all night. <laughs> and the location, good. Whenever you make a poster or, you know, that has an event that people want to come to, you want to make sure, you know, you give out the details. So this is good. Ooh. She wasn't quite satisfied with the bubble. <laughs> I guess not. This is so cool. Did we see her draw the letters? Maybe not, maybe that part took too long. And so she cut it out. But either way, the letters are very cool. All right, be honest guys. How many of you guys know what a LAN party was already? Write a comment and tell me if you knew what it was already and if you've ever, you know, had one or been to one and what games you played. Free entry, that's very good as well. This poster is looking super fire. This looks so lit. Look at the, all the stars in the background. What a great touch. She's really creating a like a story here and a mood. Okay, let's hear what she had to say about it. For our LAN party, I chose the name Dead Gamer Society, making a reference to the movie Dead Poets Society. Ooh. From that name, I drew a dead human playing using an art style that would match the 90s. The text was placed on the flames coming out of the computer screen, and I also added some perspective, bringing an idea of movement and adventure. Considering that the poster would be pinned up around campus, I used vibrant colors so it would stand out and arouse the curiosity of the students who would pass by it. Let's hear from from your opponent, Brian Wan. He has a message for all of us. Hi guys, it's Brian here. Uh, it's early morning in Malaysia. Uh, I wanna say thank you so much for you guys who watch me and love my design. Uh, and also I wanna thank Zimri for the competition. Uh, I really enjoy it and it's quite challenging. Uh, I wanna say to Renata, all the best. Can we smooch like for early morning in Malaysia? Unfortunately, Brian had some technical issues screen recording his whole process, so instead he came up with a pretty clever solution. He's gonna show us like a PowerPoint snapshot of the process. So, let's do it. Whoa. Ooh. This is interesting. I wonder what program we're in right now. And do you think he made this uh, 
Nah, 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 nah. To sculpt the face would, and the ear and everything would take way too long. Okay, I'm gonna read how Brian got interested in design. This time I'm gonna read it as his response. <laughs> Um, I didn't choose to be a designer at first. After my high school, I didn't know which art course to choose in college. So I decided to do their trial course for 18 months. And that's where I met my mentor, who's a graphic design lecturer. Long story short, after 18 months, I fell in love with graphic design. So I've been passionate about design ever since. Nice. 18 months is kind of a long time for a trial course, but that's, that's really sick. I like how this is coming together. His um, land party typography here is really quite involved and very cool. This is feeling super like PlayStation from, from 2000 in the early 2000s. I like this a lot. This, you know, so this will definitely have a, a very different feel than Renata's. So you guys will have to decide. Oh my gosh. What should be our deciding criteria though? I think you guys should come up with criteria of your own. Something to the effect of, does it seem fun? Does it fit the mood? Does it seem like people would want to come and kind of judge it that way? Maybe, we'll see. This is so cool. I wonder what it says up top, in the top right there. I really like the um, the barcode below the, da the, the date and time. I kind of want to put a barcode on everything now. Ooh. The yellow kind of details he did to the eye and the cheek and the texture he gave on the, the humanoid there. That's a really good detail. I like that a lot. This is really some high, high concept stuff, guys. That's it. His is pretty short because we didn't get the whole screen capture, but let's hear what Brian had to say about it. My inspiration in this poster was from another artist that I inspired a lot. And since the style is around the 90s design aesthetic, I decided to go with my childhood game, Virtua Fighter 2. It's sort of like Street Fighter. The model in my poster is called Dural, uh, appears as the final boss of arcade mode in the Virtua Fighter series. I rendered her in Cinema 4D, just a simple render because I didn't want to spend so much time on 3D software and also because my laptop is, is sad. I don't know what that means. The style and concept. I kind of want it to be a mix of modern and retro is also the style that I usually do. Nice. All right, design champions, use the link in the house below to go to the Asus ROG Instagram account and click on their stories and then you'll be able to vote for who should be the winner of this round and make it through to the final. This is a big deal because once they're in the final, they have the chance to win the new Zephyrus G14 gaming laptop from Asus, which would be super lit. I gotta tell you, regular lit, pretty lit, super lit. It's the highest litness you can get. Maybe not the highest, it's almost there though. Let's take a look at some of the entries that you guys made. Look at the face on this computer. That's pretty sick. Ooh, I really love the type treatment here, how it's been like all disconnected. The colors are fantastic too. By the way, thank you everyone for uh, making a design for this round. I think there's a few too many to show, so I'm gonna try to show as many as I can, but I'm just gonna um, prioritize some of them. Look at this one, this is hilarious. Hilarious. And then they have one of those, one of those uh, chickens that you like squeeze and then they go, ooh. Ooh, look at this little like rainbow ribbon. I wonder how they made that actually. That's really cool. This is very visual. A lot of Photoshop work went into this. I like it. I would like to see a little bit more information about where stuff is going down though. Very cool. Now this one. This is very interesting. It's a completely different take on it, but I think it would pique my interest a lot. The colors on this one are very cool. And then it's like this weird gradient. It, it creates a very strong ambience. I like that. <laughs> this one's sick. I love this mouse. I kind of want this mouse to be a logo or an icon for something. 
so cool. Here you go, here's one that seems very uh, late 90s, like word art kind of a thing. I like this a lot. <laughs> this name's so clever. Outlandish, broken particle array here. I think this is actually a very effective flyer. It has like all of the elements of, you know, kind of 90s kids show design, but the colors are different. A warm color scheme, theme which I think like juxtaposes a little bit, makes it really interesting. I love this one. This one is so cute. I wanna play a game and eat some snacks, then beat my friends and and eat some snacks. Really great job. The last one we'll look at today is from one of our competitors who just went out, Kuba Piotrowski. Big appreciation to you, my man. So he has the monitors, but the mouses are punching each other like um, boxing gloves. I think that concept is so clever. And then he did the dates as the number keys on the keyboard. It's very clever and well thought out design. Awesome, Kuba. Okay, my potato chips. I'll be showing the rest of your guys' entries on Instagram in tomorrow's video. Stay tuned for that. Come back as we will be watching Lucas Villette take on Trevor Navar. We will see who wins. All right, design champions. Stay awesome, possum. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye, guys.